Hello all, today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot vCenter server services. vCenter services are one of the major components for the vCenter to run. And you can check the status of all the services that are running on the, oops, I was typo error there. So, you can check the status of all the services that are running on the vCenter server appliance and as you can see these are the services which are running few services are very important in order for the C in order for the vCenter to be running some services may not be required as you can see you may not be using content library so this is stopped However, if you want to use content library and if the service is down, it will not work. You will have to bring up the service. Now, in day-to-day -day activity or working with vCenter or troubleshooting vCenter, what I have seen is sometimes some of the services breaks and then you're not able to log in or you're not able to bring up the vCenter. For example, if your vSphere client or vSphere UI is down, it would not let you login to the web client because they are they they are the services which provide you this web GUI interface so that you can work on your vCenter right so sometimes some potential problems may happen some kind of problem happen with those might be you're doing some changes inside the files and you somehow you know by mistake make made some changes and it breaks the file and then you know you don't know where to start how to troubleshoot what to look at so that is what i'm going to show you in this very short video how you can find the problem and how you can fix it yourself so before starting i can tell you some of the services you can see this is vma fdd this is something related with certificate service vmc ad as well and then you have VMware CIS license service component manager is one of the service which actually does a lookup activity of all the services and registers all the services um, then you have VMware Postgres service if your database is not working then you may want to check if the service is started or not and if there's any problem with the database and then you have you know VMware RHDDB proxy service you have SPS service, you have stats monitor service, you have uh, STS IDMD service. So if you have any problems related with the domain user logging into the vCenter um, web client, you can go ahead and check VMware STS IDMD server, uh, logs in order to understand. And on the top of that, you want to make sure that the service is up and running. You have update manager service, you have VAPI endpoint service. So VAPI endpoint is one of the other important service, which kinds of, you know, it's a VMware API um, service, which connects with other services. Like it's the endpoint service, which will let you connect with other services. So, and of course, nonetheless, VMware hyphen VPXT, which is the vCenter service. So, let me let me go ahead and show you here exactly how you can troubleshoot this issue so as you can see your vSphere web client is up I'm trying to I will try to go ahead and break one of the service here let me choose to break maybe VAPI endpoint okay so I'm just going to make one maybe very simple change here so as you can see endpoint endpoint or properties this is one of the file so let me have a quick look inside of this file you know what it says generally in day to day activity you will not change anything inside of this but while doing some troubleshooting or some changes some parameter changes if you're doing some changes on any of the files you know then it may be destructive you might be breaking up the services so you got to be very careful and always make a note of what changes you have made on which file 
to save your uh, time in troubleshooting so you can really go back and revert back to those changes so for example if you see auth by token clock tolerance seconds 1000 so it's just take telling you how to do the authentication what is the time it should take right so let me let me just quickly go ahead and rename this particular file i'm going to rename it to endpoint.properties.old and So I'm not making any changes inside the file. I'm just renaming the file itself. So I just rename one of the file here from endpoint.properties.old from endpoint.properties to endpoint.properties.old and I want to see what is the impact of this. Okay. So I will go ahead and stop and start all these services. show you what is the impact I'm going to stop the pause the video for a moment so all these services has been stopped right now so let me check the status real quick okay. all these services are down I am going to start the service I'm going to try and start all these services now so this is another important thing you can notice that LWSMD is the first service which starts VMAFDD is the second one VM, VMDRD is the third one look at the sequence of these services then your authentication service starts up you know so if LWSMD service is down if it doesn't come up none of none of these services will actually come up so So one time I was doing some experiment, I moved out the LWSMD uh, service file to temp, to temp folder and then I try to start that particular service and start all the services, uh, none of them came up so I had to put the file back to this where it was and then it came up. So let me check the status now i have opened two sessions two pretty sessions oops sorry i ran the start command instead of status okay so as you can see VMware Vapian point is start pending okay so I'm going to see what exactly is happening with it When you do a tail on any particular log or service, it tells you the live log. So if you can see this, it says EDC, VMware, VAPI, and point of properties, no such file or directory. Of course, because we moved it to dot old. That's the reason. So if I now try to go back. here and change it back to as it was by the way let me show you what exactly will happen if the Vapi service is down 
basically your web client will not come up right so i'm going to move it back to as it was move endpoint.properties.old to endpoint.properties and there you go service hyphen control hyphen hyphen start okay okay still fail to start Why is this because let me have a quick check here Let me just see the status on it, I guess. Uh, the file name got changed. Yep, it is running. So, basically, Vapi Endpoint is running. And let me check on all the services. Looks good. Most of the services are up. Your VAPI endpoint is up. And your vSphere web client is in, is initializing. It will come up in a moment. Meanwhile, I just want to get back to this. The whole reason I wanted to show you this is because first thing you have to identify which service is not starting. Then the next point is you need to understand why it is not starting you need to know where are the logs for that particular service once you check the log the best thing to do is do a live log checking by doing a tail on that particular log so since i knew that it was endpoint.log and as you can see caused by and it gives you the exact message etc vmware vapi endpoint.properties no such file or directory because it does not understand vm endpoint.properties.old the name of the file was endpoint.properties so if you by mistake make it something else it will not understand it will not find the file it cannot run the service and other services which are dependent on this one will not come up so imagine if you make some mistake which is done inside the file then that can be you know very damaging it may cause damaging impact on your uh, server so this was a little video on the vCenter services I will come up with others if you like the video let me know if you want to know any other troubleshooting steps any other concepts please comment on the video I will try to upload more videos on such kind of videos on the YouTube and thank you for your time.